the Sunday 21, May 2007. This, she's so female. Sister right? Spain? Ah, uh, no. No, I'm not Spain. Uh, it's 10 years old now. The, the main, main complaint is painting. Uh, painting for, for how long? A few days? Yeah, more, more than 10 years. Okay, and then what happened with the dog? The dog doesn't want to lie down. Mm -hmm. Just sits like this. Yesterday, right? Yeah. You can see the painting is very bad. <coughs> and uh, this painting, you think it's a few few weeks or a few months? or? No, last time she uh, this painting. don't paint, just cough a lot. Oh, coughing, yeah, coughing. coughing day and night? On and off, like the children. Okay, so, so a quick examination first. <coughs> There's a 37.6 I mean, temperatures below normal. Okay, talk to, talk to her first. Uh, so, be the more cut. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Check the mucus membrane, mm. pale, uh. mm. pale already. Mm. <coughs> Dehydration. Mm. Is it drinking water or not? She, she did that actually. Mm. Every time we do More than. Check. Hey, hey, oh, don't move, like don't know. No, I will search the lymph nodes at large. No, uh. no, uh. Coughing has been for how long? Coughing. Coughing is induced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, quite hard. Okay, okay. Do you cough more at night? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Body condition poor, this thing. Mm. So, not eating, not eating really? Still eating. Eating less, huh? Uh, biscuit. Let's see if they're eating less. Drop it to Drop it to the nose. <coughs> So they are large, luminous and large. About one centimeter. They are the large one, probably telling nooks. And uh, <coughs> exemplary. Exemplary lymph nooks, pretty specular. Don't feel, don't feel enlargement. So the main thing, okay, turn upside down already. Okay, so now you hold, okay. you hold, you hold, you hold the armpit. Huh? Okay, you move on. Huh? You check whether this dog is not, not sterilized. <coughs> you didn't sterilize, when's the last hit? Sorry? When's the, when's the last period of bleeding? I'm not sure. <laughs> Quite some time already. Yeah. Mm, quite some time. Mm. Overall, it seems to be okay, mm. no, no tumors. So there's no heat there? Hmm. Is it coming on heat? No. I, I don't think so. Okay, yeah. come to stand up again. No diarrhea? Yeah. Vomiting? Uh, not, not for a long time. Really. Okay, check that out. The left heart. Mm. <coughs> not, not in working condition really. Systolic murmurs, left heart. Lungs. Lungs okay. So the domain. The stools are normal? Hmm? Stools. Stools? What stools? The fast motion, normal? Yeah, normal. The peristalsis, can, can hear the intestinal sounds. So the thing is a heart disease. Uh. Mm. So we will do an x-ray. Okay. Today is Thursday, May 25, 2017. I'm doing a case study on this Maltese female, 10 years old, that came in with the complaint of difficulty in breathing coughing and uh, not being able to lie down on a chest overnight. She was just sitting upright the whole night through. So examination shows a left heart murmur and uh, the blood test as you can see here shows a bacteremia because the total white cell count has gone up to 23. 23 point 
9 when the normal should be 4 to 12 and the neutrophils which is the bacteria fighting white cell has gone up to 85.1% when the normal is 60 to 70 percent. Now the absolute number of neutrophils as you can see is 20.34 20 which is a very large number of neutrophils in the bloodstream. The normal should be 1 to 7. So you can see that this dog is suffering from a bacterial infection. We call it the bacteriemia because the bacteria in the blood causing leukocytosis, total white cell count go up, neutrophilia and uh, increase in the neutrophils. So that, that is a situation called bacteremia. And so we will look at x-rays later. X-ray will show the left heart is enlarged with left ventricle failure. When the left ventricle fails, fluid seeps into the lung tissues then the alveoli and so causing pulmonary edema we can you can see on the x-ray has white patches we will look at the x-ray after this okay now we are looking at the x-ray of the female maltese 10 years old with difficulty in breathing and uh, coughing you can see from the x-ray the left heart is enlarged this is the heart you can see it's very enlarged, more than three and a half interstitial in the costal space. It's one, two, three. Normal heart will occupy three and a half. But this this heart occupies more than more than three in fact. It occupies one, two, three, four. Four and, and a bit more in the costal space. And then you can see the water in the lungs. Normally the lungs should be black. There's the air there. It should be black. Black colour. You can see it, there are white patches. These are the fluid in the lungs. You can see here a lot of fluid. A lot of fluid in the lungs. And this side also. So it's, there's no no air here. You can see these are the air. Black is the air in the lungs, but white means water in the lungs. So it's a lot of water in this lung. So that's why the dog tries to cough out and also has a difficulty in breathing and and uh, auscultation using the telescope shows left heart murmurs. Now the treatment usually is oxygen therapy. Then uh, after oxygen therapy, we will give medication to bring down the water in the lungs to treat the pulmonary edema. Number two, and number three will be to address the underlying illness. What illness is this? In this case, this dog is suffering from congestive heart failure on the left side. And so, treatment will be heart medication, heart drugs. Now we see the other uh, view. The other view will be the ventral dorsal view. You can see very clearly that the left heart is, is much enlarged. Normally the heart occupies, this is the right heart, this is the left heart. It's so much and much as you can see. And uh, the right heart which occupies only one third of the plural space, we call it. This, this, this normal, this right heart is normal. So it occupies one third of the plural space, but this one is enlarged the left side. So it occupies more than two thirds of the plural space. Plural space means the, the space inside the chest where the lungs and the hearts are contained. You can see definitely this is the left heart enlargement. So it's chronic heart failure or congestive heart failure. 
due to left ventricle failure and after failure the fluid seeps into the lungs so causing pulmonary edema pulmonary edema you can see that the whitish lung tissue filled with fluid and it should be black it should be as black as this this part is only a bit more air here but the others are really full of fluid full of uh, fluid from the blood vessels seeping from the blood vessels so the dog can't breathe well and cause a lot to try to cough it up so this is a condition of congestive heart failure on the left ventricle failure and uh, so treatment will be heart medication plus oxygen therapy plus treatment of the edema the fluid using drugs to take out the water from the lungs So this is a case of congestive heart failure in the old Maltese Topai Vets, Singapore, May 25 to 017.